What is it you really love? What's your real passion? For some of you, it's a sport, right? Some of you, it's an art. For me, it's traveling. I could talk about traveling all day. But that's the thing. How do you talk about your passion? How do you tell people about what you love? Well, you could use what we call the IOs. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. These are simply the intellectual operations. They're ways you can use your knowledge. Actually, they're ways historians and geographers use their knowledge. And you can use these to talk about your passion. There are many intellectual operations. Let's think about them. First, you might need to establish facts about what you're talking about. You might need to tell where it's happening, situated on a map. Or more than that, tell when it's happening, in time and space. In history, you often need to determine what changed and what stayed the same. Or maybe what caused something. Mm, yes. Or how those causal connections connect together. How facts connect together. Or how two things compare. How what I like compares to what you like. Don't think of them as something by themselves, though. Think of them more as something that leads to something else. If you're trying to build something, you're trying to build a presentation, let's say, or you're trying to explain a phenomena in history or geography. They're your building blocks for how you organize your knowledge, how you organize what you already know about your passion, for example. This how-to presents some tools for using the intellectual operations. They're digital tools that you can use to talk about the thing you love. They're two long documents, about the same size, that you can download and print, or you could teacher could download them, and you could use them for a project in class. They are made up of three or four smaller organizers, each one for something related to an intellectual operation. Like for example, here's one on establishing facts. If I want to establish some facts about the thing that I love, I might talk about the people involved when I travel, for example, the objects I took, the places I went to, well that's a given for my passion and describe the main fact in more detail. This is a tool to help you organize the facts around your passion. Now, all these tools come in a form called a Google Draw. And if you download the original tool, you'll see right about here, below each separate tool, a link to where you can get it and you can alter it for your own needs. You can open it, and if you have a Google account, you can file, download, and make a copy. And then you can make it your own. So you may want to tweak it a bit for organizing your knowledge about a certain element or a certain project you're doing. It's all about your passion. It's all about what you love. And these are just tools to help you organize your thoughts 